Good evening. How are you guys? Hello. Good evening. How are you, Luis? I am fine today. Perfect. I'm happy to hear that. Hi, Almita. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. Perfect. Are you Thank enjoying? You. Doing great. Thank you. Are you guys enjoying the weather? Do you like this weather yes. we have right now? Or do yes, you prefer like the heat? <laughs> o prefieren el calor? Um, no, cold. <laughs> the cold. Mm. Mm. It's the only time in the year where you can wear a sweater. Solo te voy a escribir a los del grupo acá, pero por si se les olvida. Ok, good. So, vamos a chequear la plataforma. Because we need to advance. Vamos a ir avanzando acá. Uy. Todavía no me han contestado sobre lo que preguntaron ayer, lo que mencionaba Carmen, si se recuerdan, de que en la plataforma del examen final, la parte 2 y la repite. parte 10 se repiten. ¿eh? Eh, uh -huh. Ya lo reporté, de hecho lo reporté a dos diferentes personas anoche, pero aquí me tienen sin respuesta todavía. <ríe> Así que esperemos, todavía tenemos hasta mañana jueves para verificar. Creo que es por eso se están dando tiempo. All right. Mientras Perfecto. tanto, vamos a ver la unidad 4, la tarea que corresponde al día martes, que es la de ayer, ¿ok? And for uh -huh. this one, will be homework number 17, tarea 17. Ok, tenemos, nos dice, read each sentence. Use there is or there are for singular or plural. There is. Y there are, si nosotros lo dijéramos en español, es hay y hay, o simplemente hay. Pero, porque nosotros podemos decir, hay carros, hay una casa. Para nosotros en los dos escenarios, es there is, hay y hay, o hay, right? Pero para ellos ocupan there is for singular, and there are for plural. Entonces, en ese escenario lo vamos a dejar, ¿ok? There is is for singular, there are, va a ser para todo lo que sea de dos en la verdad. Okay, so okay. which one would you select? A banana in this basket? There is. Correct. There is mm -hmm. a banana in this basket. Number two. Some chairs. There, mm -hmm. Some chairs in the kitchen. There are? Correct. There are mm -hmm. some chairs in the kitchen. Number three. Lots of books on the shelf. Varios libros. There, there are. are. Mm -hmm. Correct. There, there are mm -hmm. lots of books on the shelf. Number four. There is. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. There is a mirror in our hall. Right? Mirror is un espejo y hall. Mm -hmm. Hall is un pasillo. Hay un pasillo. espejo en, el, en nuestro pasillo. O. Oh, También le llaman hall a veces a las entradas, como a las entradas de las casas. En the mm. hall, como al mm -hmm. patio, el pasillo de entrada. Okay? And then number five, soft cushions on the sofa. There, there are. are. Exactly. There are. there are soft cushions on the sofa, like that. Le damos enviar y nosotros ahí ya completamos la tarea del día más, right? Con eso quedamos. <coughs> Vamos a ir al student manual. Y acá tenemos un croquis. Y nos dice, we're going to ask some classes. Vamos a usar este mapa para contestar las preguntas que están abajo. Okay? So we have the bank, the mall, the restaurant, Arrows Company, Park, Fort Palace, Pool, Torch, City Hall, Book World. Right? Okay. This is number one. Which street is the restaurant on? La misma preposición de la pregunta es la de la respuesta. Y la misma mm -hmm. información. 
Which street the rest of, is the restaurant on? The restaurant on. Verbo to be, Almita. The restaurant is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The restaurant is on. Is on. Be, behind. No. Ahí está bien. On. On. El nombre de la calle. Mm -hmm. Roosevelt Street. Correct, right? Mm -hmm. The restaurant is on Roosevelt Street. Number two, okay. which street is the city hall on? The city hall. Which street is the city hall on? También the, city, mm -hmm. the, the, city, the city hall is on Roosevelt Street. Correct, also on mm -hmm. Roosevelt Street. Number three. Which street is the park on? Veamos the park. Which street is the park on? Tiene dos calles, entonces the park is? The park is on Barrio Street and Roosevelt Street. Mm, pero en vez de on, no. ahí ocuparíamos otra. ¿Qué preposición es para en medio de? Between. Uh -huh. Entonces the park is? Between two the barrios street. Sí, el two. Between. Between barrios street. And. And Roosevelt Street. Correct. Completa la información, right? The street is between Barrio Street and Roosevelt Street, right? Very good. Okay. So, continuemos con las preguntas. Where, where is the mall? Where is the mall? The mall is under the park. Mm, under physically oh. no puede estar, pero puede estar um, in front behind. of in front of, uh -huh. oh. in front of the park. In front of the park. In front, front of the park. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And where is the school? Where is Where the school? Is school? The school is next to the sport palace. Yes, very good. The school is next to sport palace. Hay sport otra, otra, otra expresión que pueden utilizar es en la esquina de, on the corner of. The corner of. The corner of. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, where is the book world. Where is the book world? The book is in the corner of Roosevelt Street. Correct. In the corner of Roosevelt Street. I like that. And where is the bank? Vamos a decirlo de nuevo. Where, oh no, vamos a decir, where is the church? Y aquí hay diferentes versiones que podemos contestar esto. Porque hay varios cerca. So, where is the church? The church is in front of City Hall. In front of the City Hall, correct. Y también in? In between school and City Hall. Between the school and the city hall, perfect. Mm. It también está in front of? In front of the park. Avenue. Correct. In front, on, I said yeah, on Second Avenue, sobre la segunda avenida. On Second Avenue, in front of the park. Also, right? So hay diferentes versiones con las que podemos dar la misma respuesta. Okay? So, that's really good now. So, one more. Antes de seguir con esta. Um, all right. It says complete the location of each item using the correct preposition of place. Okay. Ocupamos la preposition of place que le corresponde. On, in, or at. Vamos a ver. Number one. Leamos edit, please. Nos lee la uno. 
con todas las respuestas de un solo? O... Yes. Okay. I work in the park that is on Fish Avenue and Barrio Street. Perfect, very good. Luis, number two, please. Their factory is located in La Libertad. Okay, correct. Almita, number three. Está en mute, Almita. Excuse me, sorry. Mm -hmm. We see you. In, in mm -hmm. training room or on the cafeteria. Or at the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, or at, at the cafeteria. Okay. Yeah. We see you on training room or in, as I, as I bien, in, in the training room. We see you in training room or at the cafeteria. Correct. Mm -hmm. Or Carmen, please. Anna works in the company that is in town. Yes, that is in town. Very good. Eric, number five, please. My relative, relative. go to relative go to the mall that is in Roosevelt Street. On mm -hmm. on Roosevelt Street. On, on. Yes, relatives is my familiares. My relatives is me, it's familiar. Con todos los oh, familiares, nuclear. Relatives. Mm -hmm. Relatives, familiares. And then number six, Luis, please. Tell him that we are. De hecho, ahí ya está. <laughs> ya está ahí. At the meeting. <laughs> at the meeting. Mm -hmm, yeah. Ya está. At the meeting room with everybody. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that one, yeah. <laughs> We're very good. Les estuvieron haciendo muy bien todos. Okay, so, para este ejercicio, vamos a hacer una conversation que tengo por acá. Se la voy a mostrar. Este momento. And I'm going to need two volunteers. One person is going to read that. And the other person is going to read Mrs. Day. Ocupo de voluntarios. Una persona lee Jack y la otra persona lee Mrs. Day. I am Jack. Okay. Me. Carmen, les ayuda con Mrs. Day. Please. Let's begin. Eric. Okay. Jack. Yes. Please. Excuse me. I am. Your new neighbor, Jack, I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes. yes. There are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And I there a lounge drama? near here well i think there's one across from the shopping center thank you by the way there is a barber shop in the shopping center too a barber shop <laughs> eso no se lo estaba preguntando él pero ya se lo mencionó porque he has long hair <laughs> Right. Very good. Okay. So, veamos que hay un par de expresiones nuevas por ahí. Pregunta y respuesta, ¿verdad? Are there any around here? Okay. Um, are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Okay. Um, is there a laundromat near here? Oh, I think there is one across from the shopping center, right? Y esto, por ejemplo, ella no se le estaba, él no se preguntó, pero ella le dijo, there is a barber shop in the shopping center, right? So, tenemos esta expresión, there is and there are. Y preguntas, are there 
always there, right? So, <laughs> so what we're going to do is that we're going to go into the breakout room and we're going to create a conversation that is similar to this one. Para introducir el tema, vamos a ir a las salas y vamos a crear una conversación igual que esta, ¿ok? En la que ustedes, uno de ustedes es nuevo en un lugar, no necesariamente el trabajo, puede ser cualquier escenario. Uno de ustedes es nuevo en un lugar y le pregunta a la otra persona, ¿is there tal cosa? ¿are there tal cosa? Y la otra persona, yes, y lo van ubicando y van haciendo comentarios. Obviamente esta conversación que está aquí es bien sencillita porque es para principiantes, pero ustedes ya no están tan principiantes, así que traten de incorporarle más elementos, que sea más conversación, un poco más compuesta, ¿ok? Les voy a dar 15 minutos para esto. Las salas están abiertas, pueden ingresar ahora. And you will have 15 minutes. Una conversación así sencilla, ¿verdad? Conversación usando las preguntas, are there, is there, y las respuestas, there is, there are, parecida a la que tienen acá, pero en cualquier otro escenario. Y más completa. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ok, perfecto.
Okay, let's hear those conversations. Vamos a escuchar esas conversaciones. Tenemos a la sala 1, Carmen Hernández y Luis Escarate primero, por favor. Los escuchamos. Hello, are you a new neighbor? Yes, I knew the city. Are there supermarkets? Yes, they are. But in this city is very expensive. But next to the park, there is a whole supermarket. This is better than others. All right. Is there a cinema? No, there is not. In this city, there is a theater. In your house, are there more family? No, I live alone. Okay, because I think... Okay, because I think you can play with your family in the park because in the park there are family games. Okay, are there family games in the park? Yes, there are, but you can play with your friends. Okay, thank you for information. Okay, see you later. Nice to meet you. See you. Nice to meet you too. Very good. <laughs> it was a very complete conversation, tal cual. <laughs> it was very complete. And you were asking extra questions. No era solo pregunta de there is o pregunta de there are y respuestas, sino que hacían preguntas para averiguar más información para recomendar, right? So very good job, Luis. Carmen, very good job with that one. Now we're going to go with room number two. We have Almita and Eric Guzman. Go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Excuse me. I am new at, at work. My name is Alma. Hello. Oh, yes. Yes. I'm looking for a bathroom. The bathroom is between the laundry and the store. Oh, thanks. I need to know where... The daycare is to draw off my baby. The daycare is in front of the office. Oh, good. And it's right here? Yes. It's the corner of the office. And the dining room is behind reception. What time do they have lunch? The lunch is at 12 o'clock. Oh, thanks. Nice to meet okay. you. Nice to meet you. Very good. I love it. <laughs> it was asking for something, and then they started asking extra questions to gain more information and recommend. Very good job, Eric. Almita, muy bien. Muy, muy bien. All right. Thank Antes de seguir, le voy a pasar asistencia. Before I forget, give me just one moment. Osvaldo ha dicho que no puede ingresar a la plataforma, teacher. ¿Alguien le puede pasar el link, el que están usando ustedes? No tendría Yo... que darle ningún problema realmente, pero... ¿Creen el que estaba de ayer? Ajá. Sí, por lo general, pero me lo pregunto. Osvaldo. Para que sepa que es el mismo link. Quiero ver. Ajá, es el mismo link. Ok. So, le voy a pasar asistencia, please. Be ready when you hear your name. We have... Um, um, Alma y Anet Martínez. Almi es Kimi Díaz. Here, here, teacher. Thank you, Alma. Carlos Eduardo García. César Heriberto Roca. César Omar. Cruz del Carmen Hernández. Present. 
Thank you. Doris Cecilia Lima. Eric Rogelio Guzmán. Here. Thank you. Jose Mauricio Martinez. Josué Jonathan Roca. Luis Enrique Escarate. Present. Thank you. Uh, Melissa Lucet Álvarez. Oswaldo Ernesto Salguero. Ulda Lisset Boyat. William Ernesto Magaña. Zulma Evangelina Magaña. Y Zulma Noemí Linares. Ok. So let's continue. No one more. All right, so we have the, there is, there are, one, any, and some, okay? Those are quantifiers, quantifiers, right? One, any, and some, okay? So I need volunteers to read this, please. Ocupo un voluntario para leer esta burbuja. Okay, Luis, please. Is there a dollar city near here? Yes, there is. There one across from the Galleria Small. No, there isn't, but there is not next to a smart fit gym in Metro Centro. Mm -hmm. There is one. Okay, is there a dollar city near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the Galleria Small. Cruzando del Centro Comercial Galerías. Okay, o si no hay, no, there isn't. Pero lo ubicamos a donde sí hay. Aquí no hay, pero hay. no, there isn't. But there is one next to Smart Fit Gym in Metro Centro. Right? So that's one way where you can ask. Esto es específicamente para estar por uno. One. Okay? And then we have um, another example. Another volunteer to read, please. Let's see. Me. Almita, please. <clears throat> Are there any gas stations around your house? Yes, there are. There are some in Soyapango. No, there aren't. But there are some in San Salvador. No, there aren't. Any around here. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Si se fijan en la anterior. ¿Qué no va a entrar? <laughs> so, is there a dollar city near here? Acá estamos preguntando por A o one, right? Specifically. Pero también si queremos preguntar como hay alguno, en vez de hay uno, hay alguno o alguna, ocupamos any, right? Are there any gas stations? Hay alguna gasolinera, right? Cerca de tu casa? And the same type of answers. Yes, there are. Y le explicamos a dónde. There are some in Japan. Oh, no, no, there aren't. But there are some in San Salvador, right? Oh, no, there aren't any around here. También puede usarse como, si la ocupo en pregunta, estoy preguntando por alguno o alguna. Pero si la ocupo en respuesta, es ninguno o ninguna, all right? Pero en respuesta negativa, right? So, are there any gas stations around your house? ¿Hay alguna gasolinera cerca de tu casa? Y si la pongo en respuesta negativa, no, there are any around here, no. No hay ninguna aquí cerca. All right. So any, en pregunta, puede ser alguno o alguna. Y en negativo respuesta puede ser ninguno o ninguna. Right. So you can use it different, right. And we have practice. We have three questions. Is there a bank near your house? Are there many gyms in your city? Is there a park where you live? Cada uno de ustedes va a contestar estas tres preguntas. Okay? Le voy a dar cinco minutos. Traten de hacerlas lo más completas posibles, right? Yes, there are. Y me dicen a dónde, usando después de dónde, a la parte de dónde, okay? O si no hay, me dicen, no, acá no hay, pero in my city, no, there isn't in my city, but oh, there aren't any in my city. Pero aquí sí, en tal parte, ¿okay? 
Así que respuestas lo más completas posible. No queremos respuestas de yes, there are, no, there are, yes, there is, no, there is. Right? No, queremos respuestas lo más detalladas posible. ¿Ok? Les voy a dar cinco minutos. Esta es individual. Lo van a contestar cada uno según ustedes les parezca. ¿Ok? Right? Así que son tres preguntas, tienen cinco minutos. This is individual. Teacher, tengo una pregunta para la hora de, de contestar, por ejemplo, si la pregunta es, oh, ya no sé qué preguntar, uh, is there, contesto con, yes, there is, no, there isn't, y lo ubico a dónde. Uh -huh. Y con are, es they are o they aren't. Uh -huh. they are, are there, uh -huh. are, are there, okay. y de ahí es, yes, there are, no, there aren't. Por ejemplo, la segunda dice, are there? Y yo digo, are there también para contestar. No, acuérdense que el verbo to be solo va al principio en preguntas, en respuestas o oh, en sí, oraciones, sí. va después. There are. Uh -huh. Yes, there are many yeah. gyms in my city, like five gyms in, my, in San Salvador, right? Oh, no, there uh -huh. aren't any gyms in my city, right? depending. But in the next city, in San Marcos, yes, there are many over there. Así. Uh -huh. Ok, bueno. All right. We have five minutes. I have a question, teacher. Tell me. Who is near? Near, cerca. Cerca de. Ya no ocupa otra, 
Por ejemplo, I live near San Salvador. Ya no ocupo otra preposición. Near, ya yo vivo cerca de San Salvador. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, if we have completed the three answers, ya pasaron cinco minutos, let's take mm. the Who wants to go first? No. Okay, Elmita, please. I don't know. No he terminado, teacher. Oh, okay. <laughs> Necesitamos mm -hmm. más tiempo entonces. Le voy a dar cinco minutos más, okay? Por favor, gracias, right. teacher.
Ok, five minutes have passed already. Vamos a ver la respuesta. Who wants to go first? Who wants to start? Me, teacher. Go ahead, Carmen. Okay. Is there a bank near your, near your house? Yes, there is. We have three banks in the city, BFA, Bank of Boticario, and Fedicred. Are there many jeans in your city? Yes, there are. In Candelaria, have two jeans. One of them uh, is front of Sarita, and the other is next to the shirt. And is there a part where you live? Yes, there is a part in front of my house. Many kids go to play there. Alrighty, very good, Carmen. I love it. You included comments, include like the kids, right? Very good. Thank you. Vamos a ver. Um, Eric, please, number two. Okay. Is there a bank near your house? Yes, there is. There is a next to the city hall. Is is three block away? My house. Okay. Are, are there many gyms in your city? Yes, there are. There are some in in, in the central city. Oh, All right. Is there a park where you live? Yes, there is. There is one or two blocks my house. And, and my house is between the, the parks. <laughs> Very good, Eric. I like that you made it mm, from a different perspective. Eric, contesta las preguntas. ¿Dónde quedan desde su punto de referencia, que es su casa? Así que muy buen trabajo. Let's go with Almita, please. Okay. Is there a bank near your house? No, there isn't. But there is Sonsonare. En Sonsonare. In Sonsonare, there is in Sonsonare. Are there many jeans in your city? Yes, there are. There are three jeans in Chalchuapa. Mm -hmm. Near a park and other behind church, also in front hospital. Is, is there a park where you live? Yes, there is. The park is on Avenue Matias Delgado in front of the City Hall. Very good. Thank you, Anita. Very complete also. And now we're going to listen to Luis answers. Is there a bank near your house? No, there is. I, I live near to the new City Hall. Two, are there many gyms in your city? No, they aren't. In my city, only have hospitals. And the last one, is there a park where you live? Yes, there is. This is a big park. And in this park, there are many people. And the people is very kind. People are very kind. Are very kind. Very good. Thank you. I love it. Everybody answered the same three questions and everybody provided a different response, right? Cada quien tuvo una respuesta diferente, una perspectiva diferente, mismas preguntas, right? So very good job on that. And now we have this section, right? Where I live. It says, there is, there are. Se van a escoger si le ponemos there is or there are, right? It says, my living room isn't very big. But I think it's great. Okay, can we do that? Yeah. Volunteers for reading. Right, this is. Go ahead, Eric. Desde el principio. Y nosotros le vamos a ir diciendo los demás. Le vamos a ir diciendo there is or there are. Ahí. Okay. Okay. My living room is not very big, but I think it's great. There is an old sofa, and there are two armchairs. Armchairs. Son los sofás Arm de uno. Los sofás de uno. 
two answers. Continue. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué, ¿Qué ponemos ahí? There is or there are? A table. There is. Correct. Sigamos, Eric. There is a table with a TV and a DVD player on it. Mm -hmm. Also, there a is place or there are. Uh -huh. There is also a place. Or in. there are. ¿Qué dice, el, ¿Qué dice el público? There is or there are. Ah, there is. Mm -hmm. Can you hear it? There is also, also a PlayStation. I love all the games. There are. Mm -hmm. there, there are some books and there. There, there are a lot of pictures and, and posters on the walls. There is there or are. there are. There are. There are two lamps. There, there are two lamps. Mm -hmm. There are two lamps. My room, my room's not very tidy, tidy, tidy but it's a really comfortable. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, tidy. Palabra de vocabulario. Si la quieren agregar a su lista de vocabulario. Tidy es ordenado. 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 My room is not tidy. Mi cuarto no es ordenado. Right? Oh, my room is very tidy. Mi cuarto es bien ordenado. It depends. Right? Okay. So now, it says, you're going yeah. to write a description. What things and places are there at your room? Yeah. Tenemos un ejemplo acá. Uh, veamos, Luis, si nos ayuda leyendo el ejemplo, por favor. Example, in my office, there is a dedicated room for new moms to have one hour a day to rest. There is also a conference room next to the conference next to the customer care office, and there are many weather stations to get weather, but there are not any vending machines. All right. Okay. Dice que ustedes a continuación van a escribir, esto es individual, you're going to write a description, what things and places there are at your workplace, ¿ok? Pueden hacerlo de, no solo de su trabajo, porque todos trabajan en el mismo lugar, así que pueden hacerlo de escenarios diferentes, ¿ok? Places there are in your neighborhood, en su vecindario, por ejemplo, or places there are in your city, pero traten de hacerlo más específico, por ejemplo, le, lo que acabamos de ver, lo que Luis leyó. In my office, there is a dedicated room for new mothers to have one hour a day to rest. There is also a conference room next to the customer care office. And there are many water stations to drink water, to get water, right? But there are not any vending machines. There aren't any vending machines, right? Eso es un, esto es resumido. Ustedes pueden hablar de su oficina, de sus casas, de la ciudad, de, lo, de su vecindario, ¿ok? Así que les voy a dar 10 minutos. 10 minutos, escriban tanto como puedan, que sea parecido a esto, incluso más completo, ¿ok? ¿right? Hagan comentarios también, como, por ejemplo, lo que decía Luis, ¿verdad? There are a lot of people at the park, the people in here is very nice, and the people are very nice, etc., ¿ok? Right? Así que, let's do that. Es la description. Description de un lugar. Qué cosas hay y cosas no hay. Ok. Right. So I'm going to give you 10 minutes. This is individual. Esto es individual. Ok. Así que estamos bien.
All right, the minutes have passed. Are we ready? Or do you need more time? I'm ready, teacher. Perfect. I'm ready, teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's begin with Carmen, please. Now, they say what place you're going to describe, and then you start. I'm going to describe my city and mm -hmm. the area. In my city, there are many places to go with your friends or family. In the city center, there are a lot of business like restaurants and markets. Also, there are many drugstores. In many places, they offer you a new experience in every day. They try to give you a different choice to eat something. There is a nice bar between the shores and the city hall. It's a nice place to go because it's quiet. But at night, there are a lot of people making a lot of activities. There's some practice Zumba and other practice some sport like skate or basketball. Candelaria is a beautiful city. There are great people and there are many entrepreneurs. Also, there is a gym and a lot of mini restaurants. It's a nice place to visit. There is a forest you can visit if you want to climb a mountain. Ready, I love it. It's very detailed oriented, very specific, and also you included extra comments on the description. Carmen, very good job. Now we're gonna listen to Eric Guzman's description, please. Okay, my description is my neighborhood. In my neighborhood, it's very quiet. On the block, oh, perdón. On, on the block, the children play in the street because there is no park near. The block is long and straight. In, in my neighborhood, the school is close to is close to and there are several stores near my house only teacher all right eric thank you very specific description part by part right and now we're gonna listen to i'll make up your description my description is laguna yeah Chalchuapa. All right. I live in Chalchuapa. Here we have a beautiful lagoon located lake. in the set. A beautiful uh, lake. Lake. ¿Es laguna? Sí. Laguna es lake. Sí. Mm -hmm. Okay. I live in Chalchuapa. Here we have a beautiful lake located in the center of the city. It's, it is on the Central Avenue. There are many fish and toads in winter. <clears throat> it doesn't have crabs and shrimp. Its name is Laguna Cuscachapa. Many tourists also visit it. They exercise and Zumba. But they say they scar you every night. All right. <laughs> very specific location and the description was very complete, Alma. Thank you. And now we're going to listen to Luis's description. My description is my new life in other city. In my new work, are there are people very kind. And always there is a dog in the supervision in the supervision office. I like my new job and I like my new house in the new city. In my new neighborhood, there is a very nice park and also there are city halls. I want to take my time in my new life. Very good. Yes, that's perfect. That's a very good description of the new place. Nice. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the student's manual, guys. I'm gonna share this thing with you.
Okay. So at the beginning of the class, we were still looking at this map. Al inicio de la clase estábamos trabajando el ejercicio con este mapa, ¿verdad? There is a bank, por ejemplo, y preguntamos, where is, um, where is the restaurant? Oh, the restaurant is in front of a roast company. Is on Roosevelt Street, okay? Across from the mall. Diferentes versiones para contestar mismas ubicaciones, right? Where is the park? Um, the park is between Barrio Street and Roosevelt Street. Okay, and where is the church located? The church is on the second avenue, on the second avenue, next to or in front of the city hall, right? Teníamos ese mapa como referencia al inicio, pero ahora vamos a entrar a la sala y ustedes van a crear su propio mapa. Con, puede ser de su, aquí dice de su lugar de trabajo, y los lugares que incluye edificios, carreteras, todo lo que está cerca, right? Y ustedes van a explicar el mapa paso a paso y van a decir rutas, por ejemplo, para llegar de acá a acá, you can take this, cross here, etcétera, etcétera, right? Entonces, y ahí dice, van a hacer un role play en parejas explicando eso, right? No, puede, no es necesario que el mapa sea de su trabajo. Puede ser de cualquier otra ubicación como acaban de hacer ustedes individual. Pero para esta, para esta actividad, dos cosas van a pasar. Uno, le voy a dar para que compartan pantalla. Dos, tienen que preparar una imagen, como el mapa que vimos allá. Y ustedes tienen que mostrar, de, primero describir el lugar, ¿verdad? Ok, there is, en es, imaginemos que hace un mapa de su, de su trabajo, de su oficina. There is a water station here. There is a... Clínica del East here, there is a parking lot here. Okay, the bank the parking lot is behind the city hall, across from Super Select, un ejemplo, right? Ustedes van a poner ahí. Y van a decir cosas. If you want to go to Super Selectos from the office, you have to cross the street, walk two blocks, etc. Right? Y van a ubicar cómo llegar. Entonces, vuelvo y repito, no tiene que ser necesariamente de su lugar de trabajo. Puede ser de cualquier otro lugar, pero tiene que cumplir esos requisitos. Van a escribir there is, there are dentro de ese mapa y luego van a dar ruta de cómo llegar de un lugar a otro. ¿Ok? ¿Qué cosas así? All right. Las salas están abiertas a partir de este momento. Van a tener 15 minutos. Tienen que hacer el mapa, recuerden. O sea, como el croquis que vieron ahí. Y que les mostraba acá. Al inicio, como es. All right. Y les voy a dar para que puedan compartir ustedes también. Listo, ya pueden compartir, pueden ingresar a la sala.
Okay, did we finish the activity? Are we ready? Or do you need more time? We're ready. Perfect, okay. We're gonna begin we're with room number one. All right, we're gonna begin with room number one. We have Alma and Luis Escarato, please. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Uh, our description is um, Laguna Cuscachapa. Other. Mm -hmm. uh, Laguna Cuscachapa, the lake is located um, between Estadio Progreso and Iglesia Cristiana Evanescer. Okay. Uh, in front, the school. Also, there is next to a stadium and at a, a district to go to the lake. And there is a archaeologic park on the principal street. Okay. Also, in the lake, there are very kind people and there are many fishes. In the lake, there is a boat to use to travel in the mini islands because is in this lake, there are mini islands to visit for people. Okay, very good. Are we finished? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. Thank you, Alma Luis. Very well. Very well done. Okay, Thank and you. now we're going to listen to Carmen and Eric, please. Teacher, creo que entendimos diferente el concepto de lo que quería. <laughs> a ver. Pero lo hicimos, así que okay. lo vamos a presentar. Uh -huh. De hecho, así, así más o menos era lo que había pedido. <laughs> oh, yes, ok. Ok. Hey, Eric, are there any grocery store? Hi, Carmen. Yes, I two grocery store. Uh, the, the, one, the one's grocery store is is there on the maple street uh, be behind two movie th theater and the last one is the david street in front of it italian restaurant okay thank you Charmin. Is mm -hmm. is there Chinese restaurant? Yes, there is. The mm. Chinese restaurant is on Maple Street between a bank and the bookstore. On a Maple Street. Maple Street. Mm -hmm. And Eric, yeah. I want to take a bus. Is there a bus bus stop? Is is there a there a on the the corner of the park and the left 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 park? In the corner at the left. To park on uh, Main Street. Main Street. <laughs> the bus stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Eric. Thank you. See you later. Okay, see you. <laughs> All right. I love it. I love it because you did try. You did the apple, right? Very good job. Thank you, Eric. And All right. But now, give me just a moment. I'm going to share the screen with you again. In just a moment. Mm 
I'm going to take the student's manual. No voy a compartir la pantalla en este momento. Okay. We have a conversation in here and it between Will and Tania. So we're gonna need two volunteers. One person is going to read Will and the other person is going to read Tania, please. Let's see, volunteer. I will teach. Okay, Me. Eric reads Will and Carmen reads Tania, please. Okay. Empezamos, Eric. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some, some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. All right, thank you. Vamos a leer la misma conversación. Esta vez va Almita y Luis, please. Alma, usted es Tania. Luis, usted lee Will. Please. Misma conversación. Hello, can you help me? What is the Milbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four building, buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye. Perfect. Very good. Thank you. So now we're going to answer the questions we have. In here. Okay. Question number one. Please read. Um, Eric, help me with the number one, please. Le damos la pregunta. Y los demás buscamos la respuesta. How many Melbourne buildings are there? There are four buildings. Perfect. Number two, Luis, please help me reading number two. Will wants to go located. Eh, no, no se escuchó, Luis, perdón, que no repite. Where is the building where Will wants to go located? Mm -hmm. Where is the building located? It's where... down the street. On the left side? Yes, correct. And Almita, help us reading question number three, please. Okay. How many training centers are there? Where are they? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. Perfect. Very good. So that's a lot of information in just one short conversation, right? And you guys found the answers. Very good. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to move on, right? It says, how to use there is and there are class quantifiers, right? And it tells you there is an ATM for singular. There, is, there are for plurals. There are a lot of companies down the street, right? Our recruitment center. A recruitment center, there's a recruitment, right? Some supermarkets, there are, right? There are some supermarkets, right? So yeah. there is no clothing factory. There is no clothing factory. There are no hospitals on Barry Street, right? So just for you to know, if it even quantifiers como an, a, no, 
all right o solo simplemente one ocupamos there is there are right and then for plurals a lot of some or no right you can also use there are for those so we're going to complete the exercises in here there is or there are and a quantifier vamos a there is there are y uno de los quantifiers tenemos la número uno dice marketing presentation at first at three in the morning there is mm -hmm. y el quantifier there is a mm -hmm. yes. there, is. there is a marketing presentation hay una presentación there is a there marketing is a. presentation in the morning number two Business workshop down the street. Y aquí nos dice some. Ese es el cuantifier. There are some. There are. Uh -huh. There are some business <laughs> workshops. Ya no, ahí ya nos está dando cuál es el quantifier. Quantifier. Okay. Some. Luego tenemos number three. Recruitment centers around my building. No. There's no. Centers there is no. There are. There are no. No. Recruitment. No recruitment centers. There are no. What is the meaning, there, teacher? There are no. Mm -hmm. There are no recruitment centers. Centros de reclutamiento. Okay. Mm -hmm. Centros de reclutamiento. Okay. Number four. No. Number four. Door on the corner of Roosevelt Street and 2nd Avenue. There is no. No. Correct. There is no store. No. Okay. Eso es cuando queremos decir. There is uh, no. Cuando queremos decir no hay. ¿verdad? En vez de decir there isn't any store, podemos simplemente decir there is no store on the corner, right? Que no hay, te digo, right? There is no corner <laughs> store, right? Then we have number five. By behind the factory I work. There are mm -hmm. some. there are some there are some, there are some, some. banks some. the factory I work. And last one, can you say what you say uno can take the face? Aranza building around the corner. <laughs> Esa palabra se dice is... building. Be, building. Ah. Ah. Yes. There, are, pero, there is a. Pero como la palabra empieza con a, ¿cuál sería? An. Yes. An. There is an. Adam, there is an. Right? Si la palabra empieza con vocal, es an. Siempre es uh -huh. con, eh, consonante a. Right. Uh -huh. Alright, right. por eso aquí decíamos a marketing presentation porque empieza con vocal, con consonante, pero mm -hmm. aquí como empieza con vocal an around the building. Perfect. Okay, guys, so that's gonna be it for tonight. Le voy a pasar asistencia. Please be ready. Um, recordarles que vayan avanzando en la plataforma y mañana es jueves. Mañana completamos las tareas del día jueves y la del viernes. Y el viernes venimos a hacer el examen final. Lo podemos ir haciendo todos juntos, así que así terminamos la clase y terminan ustedes ya la plataforma por completo. Okay? ¿Ok? So, vamos a pasar a la asistencia. Thank you. Alma y Anet Martínez. Here, teacher. Thank you. Cruz del Carmen Hernández. Here, teacher. Thank you. Eric Rogelio Guzmán. I hear. Thank you. Eh, Luis Enrique Escarate. Present. Thank you. And creería que sí, ya estamos, ok. Todos. So, um, that's going to be it for tonight. Descansen, que tengan un buen día mañana y los veo por la noche para la penúltima clase. Have a good night, everyone. Okay, teacher. Good, good night. night. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye.